This is the world headquarters of TM Books and Video. Our offices and studios are located on the shores of Lake Michigan, near the Michigan-Indiana border. It's a lot of fun in the summer. Right after recording, I can run out the back door, jump off the pier, and splash right into the lake. This is where we do our editing. Next to the editing suite is a big standard gauge layout. It measures 10 by 36. We can run 10 trains plus Lionel race cars, which were built by MTH. But that's another story. I like the yard area. You can almost hear the banging and the clanging going on. That's the famous Dorf Van Crane and Odd Water Tower. The Lionel Roundhouse sessions were first built in 1927. We wanted to make the Hellgate Bridges functional, so we built an elevated section. My favorite bridge is this suspension bridge built by a friend of my dad. I love the way the lights swoop down and shine on the trains as they pass. Across the way, in Studio B, we have four layouts. All our layouts are built 40 inches high, and our basic 2x4 table construction, covered by 3 4 inch plywood and 3 4 inch homosote. Each is designed to represent layouts built in different eras. We call this our pre-war layout. It has the look of a layout built around 1940. I like the line of five 156 stations with their red roofs and signs on the platform. The people aren't scale, but they look good. This layout has some of my favorite accessories. Two 313 gas fuel bridges, the 97 coal loader, 164 log loader, and 165 magnetic crane. We just added Lionel's reissue of the Terra station. Next to the pre-war layout, we have a layout that depicts the late 50s. Super O-Track and lots of military and space stuff. Accessories include a transfer table and 175 rocket launcher. Today, high rail layouts are very popular. A high rail layout has structures, signals, people, vehicles, all quarter inch scale. The only thing out of scale is the track. It's too high. That's why they call it a high rail layout. Our high rail layout measures 8 by 16 and features three loops. The inner mainline loop is powered by a catenary system made by Pat Fusco. Pat owns steel toys in Brooklyn. In the middle of the studio, we are building two new layouts. One will be O gauge and the other S gauge. In that same space, we used to have a huge 24 by 36 foot layout. That's where we film the Toy Train and Christmas series. This is what's left of the HO layout that was made for the Lionel Century videos. We're going to design a new HO layout this spring. There's always something new being built around here. So now you know where we make our videos. Hope you enjoyed the tour.